everyone, welcome back to Rolling Solo. My name is Adam Smith. Today we're going to be unboxing Lion Knight expansion for Kingdom Death Monster. This came as part of the 1.5 Kickstarter version uh, distribution. So this is recently hitting uh, the doorsteps of many people that back the Kickstarter. And I wanted to show you essentially what you get inside the expansion. Just know that this is going to be available and has been available in the past as a retail option. You can pick it up through their store if you're interested in it. So I'm going to show you what's going to come inside of this box. Um, as you can see, it's just a typical box with a sticker on the front. It says Lion Knight Kingdom Death Monster. Uh, it's designed in New York, made in China. And Adam Poots is the designer. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to crack this box open and take a look at what is inside. So again, just as I already mentioned, it's nothing too fantastic in terms of the box itself. But I'll let you know that the base game of Kingdom Death Monster is amazing. So I think what's really going on here with these expansions is they don't expect you to necessarily keep the boxes. Um, you might want to keep the sticker if you're overly uh, adverse to throwing away boxes from expansions. You might want to take the, you know, cut out the sticker part, I guess, or something like that. Some people may do that or just toss the whole thing and incorporate what's inside of this into the gigantic base box because um, there is room for storage. So anyway, let's go ahead and crack this thing open and see what's inside. I'm really excited for this because this is the first of a few that I've got. So let's see what we get inside of this expansion. Now with the wrapping off, not much of a change in terms of what you can see, but we're gonna go ahead and crack this open. Now, I haven't opened these boxes before, but it looks like it just opens up like so. Wonderful, peanuts, those are gonna get everywhere. So let's go ahead and get rid of some of those, although maybe what I can do is just slide things out and see how, see how it comes out. So once we remove a number of the peanuts out of the way, and let's see what we got here. Oh, there's more. This is actually really good for storage of miniatures though. So even though I'm not a fan of peanuts in general, um, in terms of them just continually cluttering up the place, uh, at least it keeps the miniatures safe. So here you go. This is the miniatures that you're gonna receive within the Lion Knight uh, expansion. So again, it's gonna be hard to see much. So I might have to take these out of the bag to show you guys. There should also be a bunch of cards that's gonna come with it. So that's really exciting. Sorry for the glare there. Again, the light is gonna hit that and make that shimmer quite a bit. And then, of course, there's actually, how they do this is really smart in terms of um, protecting the actual booklet that comes with it. As you can see in the box, there's kind of a uh, spacer there, and the booklet for the rules for the Lion Knight is tucked away in the side. So you get everything that you need to, uh, but it's all kept very, very safe. So there's even the divider there, I think, just fell out. So that's everything inside of the box. As you can see here, this will go inside of the base box to uh, distinguish where your Lion Knight cards are as well as the gear. So these are dividers, they're really, really handy and they really make the organization of the game inside the base box very easy to handle. Uh, these are some gear cards it looks like, rare gear in fact. I don't know if all of them are rare gear, but still pretty cool. Um, so I'm not sure how that works. I think I'll be mixing these in if I'm, if I'm not mistaken with the rare gear that I've already got from the base game. We'll go through those in a second. We've got some tokens. These are gonna be specific to likely the encounter or showdown with the Lion Knight. So again, very, very nice. Um, they always pop and things like that. I do have a lot of miniatures and things like that that I'm gonna use during the boss battles as well. But some of these I don't have miniatures for. I may have one for this uh, throne here but I definitely wouldn't have them for these or, or for this fantastic artwork, this tile right here. So that's really cool. Uh, next up, let's take a look at what's inside here for miniatures, because I think that's the biggest part of the whole experience is the miniatures. So, and of course they're on sprues, they're not put together. So you have to actually put that effort in for yourself. I'm gonna try to take these out as nicely as I can. I don't want to destroy anything. Now the quality of these miniatures, if you've never seen Kingdom Death Monster miniatures, they are amazing. Um, they're right up there. I, I don't even know how high up the charts they go, but the qual I've never ever been dissatisfied with the quality. Uh, so here's a nice close-up shot of the bases there. You can see the details just insane. It obviously is very scary looking because this is a horror theme ga themed game. So we got a bunch of faces kind of in the floor. This is the half of the body section of the Lion Knight. Some of his hands, legs, kind of its arms and everything, a big cape. If I flip it over, you get the detail on the opposite side for these pieces. Uh, so as you can see here, you've got uh, faces it looks like and hands. Yeah, multiple actually. And of course, I think with this one, if I'm not mistaken, it's not just the Lion Knight that you get, but you also get, I think, four other individuals that go along with the Lion Knight, I think, if I'm not mistaken. So this is just showing you some of those miniatures. And then I'm gonna go over here 
Oh, here we go. Here's those people indeed. So I was correct. Here's one of them. So you can see the detail is really, really, really nice. So there's definitely no lack of detail in these miniatures. Super, super high quality. Yep, they look awesome. And of course, all the miniatures look kind of scary. It looks like something out of like Toy Story in terms of uh, how uh, they come off the sprues. They're all kind of in halves and pieces, so they look terrifying. Uh, the majority of them are terrifying when you build them, uh, but I can tell you on top of it, they look, some of these uh, survivors or uh, humans, at least in the game, look fantastic when they're finally created. So really, really high quality stuff there. So that's essentially what you get for the miniatures. So that shouldn't take too, too long to assemble. If you're, if you're familiar with assembling miniatures, this isn't that bad, actually. Um, you should be able to rip through that fairly quickly. It's one of the likely less complex monsters that you have to build within Kingdom Death, Mon Kingdom Death Monster. There's quite a few that are way more complex than that. Uh, we got some bases, which I'm... These are really cool. The way that they design these bases are the same for uh, all the expansions as well as the base game. They basically have a really nice base here. So you can see it even says, I love Poots, which is Adam Poots is the designer. So that's kind of how it shows on the bottom. So you put this on the bottom of your miniature and then you place one of these inside of it. So it looks like this. It gives it a nice, a very nice statue look to it. Kind of like it's on its own little pedestal. I really like that. It really makes them look classy. Uh, so we got cards and we've got dividers. There's no point in going through the dividers because you guys have already seen that. Let's go through these rare uh, gear items now. For those of you that don't want to see this, um, let me, uh, I guess at this point, just skip past maybe a minute or two. Because uh, I'm going to show you some, show some stuff that may or may not uh, be spoilerish. So I don't want to, uh, so I want to kind of warn you guys in advance. Uh, if you're, if you're, you know, you don't want to know what the gear cards are at all and never want to see them, then uh, just skip a few minutes and we'll jump into the cards. If you don't mind seeing them quickly, I'm not going to go through them. I'm just going to show you the art and stuff. Then uh, stick around. So we got uh, Hideous Disguise here. It's one. Another hideous disguise, another hideous disguise. Lion Knight badge, cool. Lion Knight's right claw, that's pretty cool. And actually these claws, the left claw and the right claw, are actually within the game. This is one of the coolest parts about it is like everything that's really referenced in the game in terms of cards actually is found as part of a miniature. So you can see there's the claws right there. Should be building on the Lion Knight. So these are all rare gear. And the backs of the cards are really easy to uh, distinguish as well as the art is amazing. And they all are color coded so it's very easy to organize them. Now we have a giant stack of cards. So we're going to go through these as well. So I'll show you this. So same warning as before. If there's anything here you don't want to see then run away now. I'd say the only thing that's spoilerish majorly with these ones would be potentially like uh, I guess the AI cards and maybe the hit location cards for this monster. So I'm going to go through them very quickly because I don't, I really don't, I want to avoid that as much as possible. So we've got a bunch of different types of cards. As I mentioned before, the backs in these cards are really cool. So they're very different. You'll see them uh, change as you go through. So you've got disorders, you've got, and again, there's, they're just really, really easy to distinguish. They do a really good job of them and they're just pretty. They look amazing. Uh, secret fighting arts. There's some armor set, black mask, brawler armor, basic action, things like that. So let's go through this side of it so you can see it from the opposite side, not the backs. So there we go, the Lion Knight. I'm not, again, I'm not gonna focus too much on just uh, showing everything, but I'm just gonna kind of quickly go through so you get a good idea of the artwork. I'm not really gonna describe anything here because that's not what this is all about. Plus, I don't want to waste your time. This is an unboxing, so I think you're just interested in seeing what kind of cards are coming in this particular set. So one other thing I'm going to be doing, and I'm kind of excited to do, but it's going to take some time, is to go through all of these cards to make sure everything is there. Because um, there's a lot of them, so you want to make sure you're not missing any. A lot of these ones right here are AI cards, so um, things like that are going to be stuff you may want to skip past. Drama lessons. The artwork is very... Uh, the artwork can be at certain times very aggressive, but that's just because it's a horror game, so it's, it's obviously going to have that angle of being a little scary. And so that it is for mature audiences and stuff like that, so you want to make sure that you're playing this with uh, adults and not with kids, because uh, there's definitely some stuff in the game that uh, kids would uh, not be uh, it would would not be throwing in front of kids. Um, so anyway, there you go. That is the stack of cards, and that is a pile of peanuts. So no, I didn't buy the game uh, in order to pick up a bunch of packing peanuts. Uh, I really got it for these cards and other things. So that's pretty much that. Uh, the next thing that I didn't show you and I just knocked bases all over the floor is the actual gigantic manual for the game. 
So it's very, very nice. Uh, the Sorry for the glare there. Um, I'm going to go through this kind of piece by piece, but I'm going to actually do this off camera first because I don't want to spoil art and I also don't want to spoil game content. So I'm going to show you specific pages because I don't want to ruin things. But essentially here is a picture of the Lion Knight, a very scary individual. Again, the artwork's really fantastic. This is the rough idea as to how things are laid out in the game. So you got Lion Knight, upgrade your core game, like how to incorporate it, new rules for the showdown, things like that. Let me go another page in. These ones are pretty uh, safe to show as well. So we've got uh, Lion Knight showdown rules, the parry hit type, or hit location type, Knight expansions and tactics deck, uh, Ageless Apprentice, black mask and white mask, hybrid armor sets. So all these things are added into the game. Here's an example of some pretty cool artwork. I, I guess I'll show you this one. This one's actually pretty cool. So you can see it's really, really aggressive, uh, but it's pretty cool. Very, very scary stuff. This one here is called the Uninvited Guests. So again, this gets into story events. So this is where the spoilers kick in and I'm not going to show anything more than that uh, because I do not want to ruin anything. So I'm just gonna flip past those pages because th those are literally, they're labeled as story events and they have artwork that goes along with them and I would love to show you them, but I'm not going to go down that road because I do not want uh, anybody to be upset that they saw something that they didn't want to see. So literally the rest of the book went all the way through a bunch of pictures and story events that are, you're going to want to you know discover on your own. So hopefully this helps you understand what you're going to get inside the Lion Knight expansion for Kingdom Death Monster. And uh, thank you so much for watching. If you have any comments, leave them in the description below. And give me a like if you like what you saw and you want to see more. Thanks so much for your support. And as always, keep on rolling solo.